Victory ahead, victory ahead, through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I hear the conquerors tread, by faith I see the victory ahead. Victory ahead, victory ahead, through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I hear the conquerors tread. By faith I see the victory ahead. Victory ahead, victory ahead. Through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I hear the conquerors tread. By faith I see the victory ahead. Victory ahead, victory ahead, through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I hear the conquerors tread, by faith I see the victory ahead. <clears throat> victory ahead, victory ahead, through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I hear the conquerors tread. By faith, I see the victory ahead. Well, God bless you, Sister Pam. God bless you, Deacon and Sister Polk. Good morning, Brother David Khalil. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Dorset and Elder Dorset. Good morning, Deada. God bless you, Sister Newby. Good morning. Praise the Lord, Sister Banks. Good morning, Reese. Good morning, Eleanor. God bless you. God bless you, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, Sister Jackson. God bless you, Mika. Praise the Lord to you. God bless you, Sister Thompson. God bless you, Mother Riley. Good morning, Sister Wiggins. Good morning, Elder and Sister Mott. God bless you, Sister Matthews. God bless you, Sister Chambliss. Good morning to you. God bless you, Sister Rosefort, Sister Rich. Good morning, Sister Williams. God bless you, Sister Walker. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Graves. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Joanne. God bless you, Carly. Good morning, Sister Sarah. God bless you, Monique. Praise the Lord to you. Good morning, Sister Rosalind. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Margot. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you. God bless you, Elder and Sister Adams. Good morning, Mother Devon. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Lewis. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Keelan. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God God bless you, Brother Perry, and the family. Good morning, Deacon Briggs. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Robinson Jacobs. God bless you. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and the family. Good morning. Praise the Lord, Sister Cheek. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Stimson. Deacon Stimson and the family. Good morning, Sister McLeod. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Jan. Good morning, Sister Durham. God bless you. God bless you, Lita. God bless you, Aletha. Praise the Lord to you. God bless you, Brother McAllister and your family. God bless you, Mother Carr. Praise the Lord to you. God bless you, Katrina. Hallelujah. God bless you and your family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Haywood, Sister Haywood, and your family. Good morning. Good morning, Lady Alde and Bishop Alde. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Roberts. God bless you. Good morning, Brother Sean. God bless you, son. Good morning, Kamisha. God bless you and Elder Robinson. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you, Mother Morris and Minister Morris. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you, Brianna. God bless you, Sister Joyce. God bless you, Sister Mother. The Barnwell. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we are just seeing the manifestation of God through prayer. God has blessed us through this consecration. We've been fasting and praying and trusting 
trusting God and I'm thanking God for a number of things. Praising God for we baptized another soul yesterday in Jesus name. Thank God. Three young people have received the Holy Ghost this month. Four people have joined the church. New people are coming to the church and I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm excited because I spent the weekend celebrating birthdays birthdays, birthdays. I've been to so many funerals and what a blessing it has been to celebrate birthdays. My sister turned 60 last week and we celebrated her birthday. Hallelujah. We celebrated one of our elders, Elder Murray, who turned 75. Oh God, on today, but we celebrated him on Saturday. And this morning, Mother Pearlie Carter turns 91 and we celebrated her on yesterday. So we're just, I'm just thanking God for life. I'm thanking God for each day. God provides each of us. And that is, all of us are praying every day, Lord, keep me, Lord, sustain me, Lord, make a way. And what a blessing it is when we know God is able to do that. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right in the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it right in the chat on the screen or you can direct message Pastor R. RJD, Pastor RJD, and to everybody that's on the conference call, and thank God for all of you, everybody who's on YouTube or anybody can text your prayer request to 336-567-5358. Again, that number is 336-567-5358. Text that prayer request. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are joining our faith to your faith and believing God for what we know he is able to do. Let's go to the word now, to Psalm number 57, Psalm 57, and I, don't, I want to read verse 7 through 11, Psalm 57, verses 7 through 11. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up my glory, awake psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Let thy glory be above all the earth. And I want to just talk to you today from the subject, I am determined. I am determined. I am determined. Determination is something that allows each of us to do amazing things. This weekend, we celebrated the march, or the nation celebrated, or some of the nation celebrated the march on Washington. And that was a feat to bring that many people together, was the work of determination. Um, before there was social media, before there were... Uh, um, ways to rapidly get phone messages out when you had to write letters and use stamps and all of that. But to bring together 250,000 people 60 years ago was determination. I'm sure there were moments where um, it didn't look like it was going to come together. Um, one young man talked about he was responsible for coordinating buses coming out of the South and all over the country to Washington. And it was a daunting task. But because people were determined, they brought together um, over 250,000 people in the nation's capital to protest for freedom and for jobs. So you never do anything significant without determination. And you have to have determination because there will always be something that will try to stop you. Sometimes it's your own mind. It's your own history. It's knowing what you know about yourself. It's knowing that you have sometimes started things and not finished those things. 
Sometimes you have not been focused in your efforts. And so sometimes we are fighting our own failure. Sometimes we're fighting against opposition, people who actively try to stop us, and then people who verbally try to stop us. You know, when any time you talk about something that you want to do, you're going to do, you're looking to do, there is somebody that has something negative to say. Sometimes it's because um, they themselves didn't succeed. Sometimes they wrestled with failure. They dealt with challenges and difficulties. And so when they hear you starting something, when they hear you making an effort to do something significant, they do what they can to discourage you. Now, now, now they some of them mean well, and they say, well, you know, I just didn't want you to be disappointed. But there are a lot of dream killers out there. Let me just say that. There are a lot of dream killers. There's a lot of people that their lives didn't come together, so they don't expect anybody else's life to come together. They live in defeat, so they're trying to bring everybody to that same village of defeat where they can just sit and bemoan their conditions. And so if you're going to do anything of substance, you have to have a level of determination. Now, remember the context of this particular song. David was hiding in a cave. David was running from Saul. David was trying to get away from Saul because Saul had threatened his life. And in that cave, God brought men who were discontent, men who were in debt, men who were lonely. He brought them together in the cave and they made David their captain. But David is still dealing with rejection. He's still dealing with feelings of loneliness. He's still battling fear because Saul is after his life. But in verse seven, he makes a bold statement. Now he talks about in, er, in the earlier part of the Psalm, those who try to kill him. He talks about, he, he asked God to be merciful. He says, they're coming for me like fire. They're coming for me like um, lions. But then in verse seven, shifts. And you know, when you spend time with God, even when you're having challenges, something will shift in your spirit. And something shifted for David, because now David is saying, my heart is fixed. My heart is fixed. In other words, Lord, I'm determined. I'm determined. I'm determined that I'm going to live and I'm determined that I'm going to sing and give praise. You're in a cave, David. You're being pursued by your former mentor. You're being pursued by his his cronies and his his henchmen. You're, you're, you're dealing with discouragement because you've lost your position and you've lost your, your, your standing in the community. But yet David says, my heart is fixed. Oh, God, my heart is fixed. I'm determined. Well, David, what are you determined to do? I'm determined that I will sing and give praise. You know what? Praise my God. Let me just help somebody. Praise is not an emotion. Worship is not an emotion. I know we put our emotions in it, but the source of worship is the decision that I will give God the glory. That's the source. It's not Hallelujah. You just simply call it feeling like it. Because if we would be honest, there are moments, there are days, there are times when we don't always feel like singing, that we don't always feel like clapping our hands or opening our mouths to give God the glory. But when your heart is fixed, oh God, to worship God, when your heart is fixed, my God, to live and to love God, when your heart is fixed, that you're going to survive and no matter what is happening to you, oh my God, your declaration is, I shall not die, but I'm going to live and declare the works of God. When your heart is fixed, you wake up, oh God, ready to give him the glory. That's what verse 8 says. He says, awake my glory. And that phrase from David's perspective is he's awakening his mind, his rational, his intellectual, and his emotional part of his being. He's awakening his inner man. He's awakening not just his body, not just his mouth, but he's awakening awakening the inner man. He's saying, wake up. We're going to praise God. Wake up and glorify God. Wake up and give him the psaltery and the heart. And I will awake early. I myself will awake early. I'm going to start my day not complaining. I'm going to start my day not fussing. I'm going to start my day not bemoaning my situation. But I'm going to start my day determined that I will give God the glory. I'm going to submit myself to 
open my mouth, to lift my hands, to glorify God. You can change the outcome of your day by changing the start of your day. Let me say that again. You can change the outcome of your day by changing the start of your day. If you always started your day feeling sorry for yourself, being angry, being mad, being upset about the things that are not going right, because everybody's got something that's not going right. But if you start your day saying, despite all of that, my heart is fixed. My heart is determined that I will glorify God. I will exalt the King. I will give him praise. I will bless his name. I'm going to praise him. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. David saying, in other words, among the heathen, among the unsaved. You know, we're really good at glorifying God. Let me be honest. We're really good at glorifying God in the church. Everybody got a song. Everybody got a praise. Everybody got a testimony. But are you willing to share that same praise with somebody that does not know Jesus? Are you willing to share your testimony with somebody who themselves might be discouraged, who themselves might be burdened, but yet I'm going to glorify and praise God. I will praise thee among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. I'm going to glorify God no matter where I am or who I'm with or who is watching or looking at me. I'm going to glorify God. You know, I, I, I've been doing morning prayer now for almost three years. And in the midst of my travel, I've done morning prayer outside. I've done morning prayer in the airport. I've done morning prayer, hallelujah, on the train. And it wasn't because I just didn't. I just wanted to do it. It was because it was important that we share our faith everywhere that we go, that we not just sit and just be cloistered in the church, isolated in the church, because the sinners are not in the church. The people that need faith, that need hope, that need help are not in the church. They're outside the church. And God give us the temerity to glorify God wherever we are because somebody's going to ask the question why do you glorify God like that why do you praise God like that you're not in the church you're outside you're in the airport well people do a lot of crazy stuff in the airport so why can't I give God the glory why can't I magnify God why can't I exalt God for his goodness and his mercy among the nations he gives the reason for thy mercy is great unto the heavens and thy truth unto the clouds. In other words, if you look all the way up into the clouds, if you look all the way up into the heavens, if you look all the way up into the stars, that is the vastness and the greatness of the mercy of God. That God is so great, his mercy reaches all the way from earth to heaven. Oh God, from earth to heaven. That's how great God's mercy is. That's how great his grace is, his truth to the clouds. In other words, God's glory, God's mercy, God's grace fills all space. And so he closes by saying, be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. I want my praise I want my worship to go to the clouds and beyond. I want it above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. I want God to be exalted. I want God to be uplifted. I want to glorify him at every opportunity, every moment, every day. But saints, you got to be determined. You've got to be determined because trust me, there's something coming that will try to rob you of your praise, of your testimony, of just what you believe God is able to do, rob you of your faith. But if you have the determination that no matter what I'm facing, no matter what I'm dealing with, no matter what I'm going through, I'm still going to glorify and praise God. I'm determined to magnify him. I'm determined to glorify him. I'm determined to exalt his name because at the, the greater God is in my life, the more he'll do in my life. The more I exalt him, the more I honor him, the more I glorify him. Saints, the more God is able to do in my life. I know somebody is joining me today to say I'm determined. Somebody is joining me today to say my heart is fixed. We used to say in the church, my heart is fixed and 
my mind is made up. I'm determined. There's an old song, an old spiritual. I'm determined to walk with Jesus. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Through trials, tribulations, persecutions, I'll be faithful. I'm determined to walk with Jesus. And saints, I just want to encourage everybody. I know all of us are facing different things. All of us are facing different challenges. But on this Monday morning, hey, God, I want somebody to stand up and say, I'm determined. Oh, God, I'm going to face it. I'm going to fight it. I'm going to deal with it. And all along the way, I'm going to glorify and praise God. Even though, even though I'm not minimizing my struggle, I'm not minimizing your struggle. But my determination, I hear your Holy Ghost, is greater than my struggle. My determination is greater than what I'm going through. And I'm determined, oh my God, to glorify God and to live for God. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for the word and thank God for all of you. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. Lord, you've been so good to us that the least we can do is say thank you. Thank you for last night's rest. Thank you for awakening us this morning. Thank you that when our right minds were able, we were able to get out of the bed and get prepared. God, to join this great cadre of believers, my God, from all over the world. Lord, you've brought us together by Facebook, by Instagram, by YouTube, by conference call, just so that we can be in your presence. And Lord, I'm asking you now to let your presence fill, oh God, this prayer room today. Lord, fill the prayer room with your presence, with your glory, with your power. Fill the prayer room with miracles, signs, and wonders. Fill the prayer room, my God, with unexpected favor. And Lord, bless everybody that is on this line today. God, remember every need. Remember every petition. Remember every prayer request. God, they've come by Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, conference call, text message. But Lord, however they've come, we are believing you, God, that you would release your power and your deliverance into somebody's life. God, I'm praying today for Christian. Lord, I'm praying today for Christian. Lord, I want you to bless him and heal him and strengthen him in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Selena that you would give her grace, my God, to do what is necessary on his behalf. I'm praying, my God, for Shanae. I'm praying, my God, for Nia. I'm praying for Hallelujah, the Robinson family. I'm praying, my God, for Kawana. I'm praying for Vanel Andrews, for the children that are living in shelters, that are homeless today. Remember them. I'm praying for abused children, abused women, abused men, anybody that's being hurt or abused. God, we're praying for their deliverance today. We're praying for the unsaved everywhere. Lord, everywhere. Somebody's out of the ark of safety. But Lord, call them in. Lord, break the yoke of the enemy that holds them. Whatever demonic force is keeping them in bondage, we rebuke it now and we pray for your salvation to come upon them. God, I'm praying for the unsaved today. I'm praying, my God, for Dia Thompson. I'm praying for Pastor Terrence. I'm praying for the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every pastor, every leader, every apostle, every bishop, every member, every saint, God, everywhere. I'm praying for Shiloh Apostolic Cathedral. I'm praying, my God, for Shiloh Baptist. I'm praying for the community church of Astoria. For the community church of Island, I'm praying, my God, that you remember Macedonia and you remember St. John. Every congregation that's represented, my God, on this line. Dabity Tabernacle, a more excellent way, God. Remember, my God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, new dimensions. Remember Refuge Temple. Remember Mission Church. Lord, these churches in Trinidad, I want you to bless them. Remember, my God, Pentecostal Tabernacle all over, oh God, the Dominican Republic. Everywhere the people of God gather, 
I want you to bless that church. Lord, remember Jay Eason and his wife. God, deliver. God, we're interceding for Jacksonville, Florida. We're praying for the grieving people, the grieving families, and the grieving community that was touched, my God, by racial violence. Lord, I'm praying all over the world that you would, God, bring an end, oh God, to this divisive, ugly, nasty spirit of racism in the name of Jesus. We're praying, God, that you would let love abide and let love overcome the evil that we see. We're praying for Boston today. We're praying against gun violence, whether it's people shooting at each other or people shooting other people innocently. God, I want you to touch and deliver in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Sister Rose this morning. Oh God, that you would strengthen. I'm praying for Marquita. I'm praying for Judy McLeod. I'm praying for Margot Briscoe. I'm praying for Daphne Carter. I'm praying for Tanya, Malik, and Jaquise. Lord, remember them in a special way. God, give them grace. Give them strength. Give them comfort. Give them power and give them deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we're praying for every name on the prayer list. Every name, oh God, that's been listed. Every name in the chat. Every name in the text, God. Lord, remember them now. Even the unspoken request, God, bring deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm praying today for healing for the sick everywhere, for the injured everywhere. God, that you would touch. I'm praying for Alejandrian. Oh, God, Rosa today. I'm praying for Johnny Watson. I'm praying for anybody battling cancer, diabetes, battling, my God, afflictions in their bodies, battling MS, Lord, battling, my God, all the Crohn's disease, whatever they're dealing with. God, I'm praying for your healing virtue. I'm praying for Susan Davis this morning. I'm praying for your healing touch on Cynthia Baisden. God, I'm praying today for Mr. Robert. I'm praying for Irvin today. I'm praying for Nikki Anderson Edwards. I'm praying for Margaret Speller. I'm praying for Sister Gail Hardy, for Denise McLean. We're praying for Miracle Destiny, for Amir, for Caleb. We're praying for Keenan's continued healing. We're praying for Chucky Brody and Charles Brody. We're praying, my God, for Mary Dykes. Lord, we're lifting up everybody everywhere that is sick God that is injured, that is recovering, God, that you would touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm praying today for Minister Perkins. I'm praying for Daniel today. I'm praying for Deacon Adams. I'm praying, my God, for Deacon, hallelujah, Wilson today. I'm praying for Deacon and Mother Harrison, God. I'm praying, my God, that you would remember, my God, Elder Tall, Elder Dokes. Lord, let your healing virtue, oh God, be extended now in the name of Jesus. Remember, Mr. Missionary, oh God, Hodges, Missionary Roseman, Missionary Brisbane, remember Missionary Davis today. God, remember God, the missionaries, oh God, that are ailing in their bodies. Touch them now. Remember my God, Deacon Grant this morning. Remember Pastor and Lady Winston. Remember, hallelujah, Lord God, remember Bishop D today. Remember Apostle Keith. God, I'm praying today that you remember Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell today. Remember Mother Carol Coleman. Remember Sister Shakaya Polk. God, I'm praying today that you remember Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Richard, hallelujah, Johnson, Bishop Richard, hallelujah, Phillips today. Remember Bishop Clonell Williams. Remember Bishop Henry Hargrove. Remember Bishop Alvin Palmer. Remember Bishop Gregory Wilder, God. Remember, my God, Bishop Irving Taylor. Touch them. Apostle Herbert Evers, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood. God, look on Brother Wiggins today. Look on Brother and Mother Sherrod. Look on Mother Garland this morning. God, remember Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother. God, I'm praying today that you would remember Mother Jill, Mother Pride. I'm praying for Mother Chambers today, God, that you would touch and strengthen in the name of Jesus. I'm praying, my God, for Mother Carter. I'm praying for Mother Moorhead. I'm praying for Lady Staten today. Everybody everywhere. God, remember Pastor Carr and Minister Carr. Remember Elder Tyson and Elder Smith. Remember Mother Foster, Henry. J, Brother Cliff today. God, remember Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary Simmons. God, touch in the name of Jesus. God, remember these precious souls. Remember my God, Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. Remember Marlette today, Maurice today. Remember my God, Dennis and Tony. Remember Kimberly, God. Lord, let your healing virtue prevail because we know that you are the bomb in Gilead. So remember everybody in every hospital, nursing home, rehab center, hospice center, God. Lord, bring 
healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember Jennifer today in your precious name. God touch because we know that you're able. God I'm praying for grieving people everywhere. Lord I'm praying for the Barr family. I'm praying for the McClendon and Pulley family. I'm lifting up Pastor Grandison Reavers. I'm praying my God for Mother Pendergrass. God I'm praying for Mother Carr today. I'm praying for Mother Garland, for Lisa Coles and family. I'm praying for the Irby family. I'm praying for Mother Wilkers and her family, for Elder Walton and family. God, people everywhere grieving, but we're lifting them up in prayer. I'm praying for Mother Moya and Mother Walker today. I'm praying, my God, for Jaleesa Harris and family. I'm praying for Jackie Poole and family, to Keisha Hill and her family. I'm praying, my God, for Elder Perry and family. People grieving everywhere, but God, give them comfort, give them grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, hold them in your hand, in your precious name. Remember, my God, Lady Maxwell, Charles, and Cedric, and the family. Remember Dr. Carter and the family. Remember Apostle Fields, Shekinah, and the family. God, remember, my God, Mother Harrell and her family. Remember, my God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, Mother Grant and the family. Remember the Groover family this morning. Remember the Kramers, the Hargroves, the Blood family. Lord, people everywhere, the Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. Remember the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family. Remember, my God, the Dockery family. Remember Sister Pam, her mom, and her sisters today. Remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family. Margie and the McLean, Melvin, and Street families. God, remember the Ransom family. Remember the Jackson family, the Ned family, the Newkirk family, the Green family. God, remember the Umstead family, the Nunn family. Remember Brenda and the Alan McNeely family. Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family. Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family. Remember, my God, in the name of Jesus. Remember, my God, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. Remember the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdy's, the Sneeze, the Washington Fields family. Remember, my God, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Middletons, the Taylors. God, I pray today for the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannix, the Boodrams, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, God, the Taylors, the Phillips family, the Josephs. God, I'm praying today, my God, for the Davises, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors. My God, I'm praying for the Scots. I'm praying for the Browns today. I'm praying, God, that you remember the Harbisons, that you remember the Adams family, the Austin family. Every grieving widow, widower, child, parent, sibling, loved one, everybody grieving, God, give them comfort. Lord, I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder. I pray, my God, for first ladies. I pray for the pastor's children. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus, mothers, missionaries, ministers, deacons, all of the young people in the church, God, I'm praying for them. I'm praying, God, that you would look on in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, musicians, singers, and psalmists. God, look on the body of Christ today. God, help us to be determined. Help us not to give up. We are facing so many obstacles, but Lord, keep the determination in the spirit of the church. I pray, God, that you remember first responders, essential your workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray for school employees and students everywhere as we prepare to go back to school, as we prepare for students coming in our doors. I pray your protection, my God, around every school, every college, every university, every seminary. I pray your protection, God, to be upon us. I pray, God, that you would allow learning to excel. Oh, God, truth to excel. People to grow. My God, to be what you would have them to be. Lord, I pray today that you remember everything everybody that works, everybody that needs a job. Lord, open doors today. Make provision today. My God, work miracles today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, God, oh God, that you protect us from incident, accident, illness. And Lord, should there be one, Lord, be the healer. But God, heal this land. Remember Hawaii. Remember the West Coast. Remember the Dominican Republic. Remember everywhere that's been touched by a natural disaster. And God, heal the land. But heal the land from sin, heal the land from hatred, from jealousy, from violence, heal the land from injustice, heal the land from racism and sexism, and let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you like never before. So cover us and keep us today, and we give your name the glory, the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, 
Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on, let's bless the Lord. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Let's bless the Lord. Give him that praise. Hallelujah. Give him that praise. Give him that praise. Give him that praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him that praise. Hallelujah. This is my declaration for today. My heart is fixed. My heart is fixed. Hallelujah. My heart is fixed. Got some trials, got some tribulations, got some enemies, got some things not going the way I want them to go, but I'm declaring today that my heart is fixed. I'm going to honor God. I'm going to glorify God. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to lift him up because my heart is fixed. Hallelujah. It's not what I'm going through that will make or break me. It is how I face it, how I deal with it, how I confront it. And I'm going to confront my day. I'm going to change the start of my day by giving God the glory and the praise and the honor. And I'm going to glorify him. Why? Because my heart, my heart is fixed, saints. My heart is fixed. God bless you today. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your Monday is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. We had an amazing day at Refuge Temple. So you can go back and watch the Sunday school lesson. You can go back, back and watch the sermon from yesterday. Hallelujah. Love Christ, love the sheep. And then you can go and watch the gathering where we talk about relationships. All right, it's going to bless you so you can watch it through as your leisure time allows you in the name of Jesus Christ. You can also stay connected with our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Sound, Cal, and Spotify. All of it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our radio broadcast airs every hallelujah morning at 830 on GregoryGospel.com. Every morning at 830 on GregoryGospel.com. Let me thank everybody that seeds and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do and we thank God for the gifts and we thank God most of all for you and if you desire to be a blessing you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church P.O. Box 3552 Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's Refuge Temple, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple, N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, Refuge Temple, NC.com, and you can give on the donate page. You can also share on the GiveLify app. Just simply type in Refuge Temple Burlington and make your gift there, or you can give with the Cash App. Our Cash App is dollar sign, the number number one refuge dollar sign one refuge is our cash app this is sacrifice monday so if you have a gift share it no gift too large no gift too small and let's be a blessing to work to the work of god because refuge temple is indeed good ground look we're winding up the days of our consecration and the Lord has blessed our consecration. Souls have been saved. Souls have been baptized. People have been revived. People have been healed. So thank God. We've just got a few days left. You can join us in fasting and praying through the 31st of, Sept of, of August and God's going to bless you in a wonderful way. Don't forget, September 29th through October 1st is our prayer power weekend at Refuge Temple. We're bringing together the morning prayer family and we're I just want us to be in one room, as many of us as can get there, to be in that room praying and seeking God and watching the explosion of God's power in prayer. It's going to be a great weekend. Our musical guest is Pastor John P. Key. He's coming on Saturday, September 30th at 630, and you can reserve your spot now. The spots are going. People are inquiring. People are buying. People are, are purchasing their spot, so don't be left out, all right? People are getting hotel rooms. People are planning their travel and we're going to be in Burlington for what I know is going to be a move of God. So plan to be with us September 29th through October the 1st in the name of Jesus Christ. And look, everybody, stay in prayer. 
Everybody stay in prayer. School is reopening. Hallelujah. So let's be prayerful and let's believe God. And please pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my sisters. Pray for my in-laws. Pray for our nieces and nephews, our entire family. Keep praying for Refuge Temple because God is blessing Refuge Temple. And let's pray one for another that God's grace might keep us and sustain us in the precious name of Jesus Christ. The Lord Build your determination so that nothing shakes you and nothing shakes your faith. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.